Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the final four here in season number five. LBSU has made quite the run to the final four, defeating Kentucky in the first round, and Douglas Taylor pulled off maybe the signature play of this run with a block on that emphatic dunk attempt from Kentucky. Then we moved on to play the number one overall seed in Florida, and they could not catch up to Monsetti. He had 17 points in the second half that game. Then we played a familiar foe in Stanford. Maybe this is a future rivalry in this series because we could get the invite to the Pac-12, but Stanford beating them twice in this season could not keep up. And then last round in the Elite Eight, we defeated Purdue in a defensive game all the way to the end. And now we face probably the toughest team in the tournament in Alabama. They had a couple of close games in this tournament, but they cleaned it up, defeating Villanova in a Sweet 16 by almost 20 points, and then UNLV last round by eight. And now we face one of the best backcourts in the nation, Emil Robinson, along with Metcalf, and the best big man maybe in the country in Bill Watkins. He is a monster. You'll see how massive he is on the court. He really is a treasure. Now, this team is pretty well-rounded, but if we can just expose a weakness, which is three-point shooting, they have the second worst three-point percentage in the SEC this year. We could get a little bit of them exposed in this game and we'll see if we can force them into bad shots. If we continue the defensive effort we had versus Purdue, we could be in good shape this round. Now let's see if we can pull it off. Here we go, LBSU in the final four for the first time. And Solomon Teixeira wins us the tip off. And let's just watch this first possession. Alabama does have an up-tempo offense. So we'll see if we can slow the game down by working the ball inside already. Here is Douglas Taylor, one-on-one. -on -one. He does have a size mismatch here. He will post up his man, Solomon Teixeira, gets it on the inside. Douglas Taylor is wide open, but he's going to take the shot anyway, and the shot is off the mark. And now here is Alabama the other way. This is a steal this time. Monsetti pushing it up. James Quick in transition. He's going to stop. Think about it. He try to pass to the perimeter, but it gets ripped away. This is a very good, aggressive defense of Alabama. And now here we are working around to the perimeter. This is a jump shot. Monsetti from three. He gets us going on the board. Early 3-0 game here for Long Beach. But here's a corner three. This time it's Tim Pugh. Now, I did not really highlight him before the game, but he can shoot the three. One of the few guys who can shoot it on their team. And here they are working it inside. That's Luke Nicholson. He gets it to go. And now it's a 5-3 game here for Alabama. We're working it outside. That is a three-pointer made by Macklin. 6-5 lead for Long Beach. But it looks like now they're starting to get into the rhythm. Getting quick shots up early in the shot clock. That's exactly what Alabama wants to do. And here's a drive to the lane. James Quick misses. And the tip is off as well. William Caesar had an easy one under the basket. So here they are working it inside. And that is good by Nicholson. You can already see Alabama's game. They're going to try to get some backdoor cuts, some easy jumpers inside, and some just quick shots up in the shot clock. And now here they are working it the other way in transition. This is a shot put up, and that is off the mark. Metcalf gets fouled on that play, and that's an early 12-6 lead. You see what Alabama wants to do. They want to run. Here is quick the other way, tries to pass to William Caesar, but it's deflected and picked up by Metcalf and a dunk. And Alabama takes the early eight point lead. They're playing some defense early on. But here is quick to the basket. Nice pick and roll. He gets the dunk. And now it's a 14 to eight game. Six point lead here for Alabama. So here is Pugh with the three and that one is good. How about him? Two threes in this game. We said that was kind of a weakness, but you can already see Alabama is already hitting him. But here's a steal this time, and that is Nicholson. He goes the other way, all the way coast to coast, and it's a layup and a little bit of contact, but they don't call the foul 19-8 to 8 
already opening it up the game for Alabama. Here's a missed shot by Monsetti. We have to get him going in order to have a chance. Here is Macklin open for three. He gets it in, and now it's 19 to 11. And the reserves are in for Alabama, but they work it inside to Watkins. You can just see how big he is. He's about six foot ten. He's not that uh, much taller than Douglas Taylor is. Taylor's about six foot nine. And now here they are on offense, working it outside. Watkins gets doubled back out to the perimeter, Alabama. Let's see what they do. Set up the offense, working it inside. This is another jump shot by Nicholson. Rebound by Watkins. He's everywhere on the board so far. He's got six early points. But here is Monsetti keeping us in this game. There is a three. That's his third shot of the game. I really want to get him going early on. It's important because if he goes cold, our offense is not the same. So here he is with the ball. Nice crossover to the basket. And he has another bucket. He's got eight early points. Here in the first six minutes of the game. And, but here is Alabama the other way. Working it inside to James Metcalf. He gets that one to go. And now it's a nine-point game. But here is James Quick to the basket. Look at him flying up there with the dunk. And now here we go. Down to a seven-point game. We're staying close, though. Alabama with this up-tempo offense. Here they are working it inside to Metcalf again. And a foul. How did they get that pass inside? So nine-point game here for Alabama. Offensive rebound put up and in by Ronnie Madoki. And now it's back to that seven-point lead, but here's a deep three. This time knocked down. And now Alabama with the 10-point lead. We cannot let them shoot threes now. Here is James Quick. He hits the deep two. Foot on the line. He's got eight points early on. And now their bench is in the game, so you know they're going to try to shoot for, shoot threes. Here they are working it inside. Missed shot. Offensive rebound. Put up and in. We have to take advantage of those missed shots. Instead, Alabama takes advantage. And now here we are with a 10-point deficit, working it inside. Back out. Nick Miles, open three, and it's off the back rim. Got to knock that one down because here they go the other way. Pew out to the left side. Another layup. And this time it's a meal on the inside. 12 point lead here for Alabama. And now here they are playing some defense, another steal. And now they're on the verge of taking a 14 point lead, maybe even a 15 point lead. This is a three, knock down Alabama. 15 point lead here. And they are just speeding up the tempo, getting open shots. But here's James Quick the other way. We get one to go. It's now back down to a 12-point game. So now with the 12-point lead, working it inside and a dunk. How are they getting these good of looks? Our defense is terrible in this one. And now pick and roll action. Macklin gets to the lane and he gets that floater to go. Maybe even a bad shot on that one. It looks like he released it a little too early, but it was a little luck. 41-29, drive to the basket and it's good. Metcalf, his 11th point of the first half. And now Alabama up 14, driving to the lane, and a foul on Carriar Walker. It's up to a 16-point game. But here is Monsetti getting going. He's got 11. He's 4 of 5 from the field. And now it's down to a 13-point game. Pew from the perimeter. Offensive rebound. Put up and in and a dunk. It's Robeson this time. His sixth point of the game. And their big three is dominating so far. Working it out to the perimeter. Tamir Macklin, missed shot. Rebounded by their big man. And now here they are, working it inside and a foul. William Caesar, 15-point lead. Now 16, stretching it to 17. And Robeson does just that. It's a 17-point lead. They have 49 points in the first half. Here we are in transition, working it up, and the hard contact, but no foul called. And now here they go the other way. Here is, uh, I believe that is Pew here, 10 seconds to go, working it to the perimeter. Nicholson on the perimeter, posting up. He's going to take a fade away, and it is blocked. But still a 17-point lead here for Alabama. They are playing defense. Easy offense, transition offense, transition defense. They are doing it all in this game. They're making it tough on us. 
We're, we're down 17. We have a lot of room to make up. So here we are now down 17 points. They've shot 61% from the field. We have a lot of ground to make up in this one. But nice start to this one here is quick off of the steal. Working it inside. That is going to be a foul on Robeson. Looks like they called it on Hugh Pew instead. As James Quick goes to the free throw line. And that one is off. And our best free throw shooter, his second free throw is off again. And wow, how about this start? James Quick, our best free throw shooter, misses. Here's Pew on the deflection. He gets the easy layup. It's now a 19 point lead here for Alabama. But here is James Quick this time getting ripped twice in a row and picked up by Pew. Going the other way in an easy layup. It's up to a 21 point lead for Alabama, 53 to 32. But here's a three point shot made that time by James Quick. Back down to 18, but inside Watkins, missed shot. Offensive rebound, Emil Robeson puts it in. And now it's back to a 20 point game. And now I don't know what's going on. LBSU cannot play any defense. We can't stop them at all as Alabama has taken over this game. Missed shot that time by Nicholson. Pushing it up the court quick. Tries to get a shot off, but he can't even pass the ball. It's ripped away. Here's Alabama the other way. Here is Robeson to the lane. Oh, and I don't know about that call. Douglas Taylor went straight up, and yet Emil Robeson gets the call. And to the free throw line they go. It's now a 19-point lead off of that first one. The second attempt, good as well, 57 to 37. Here we are in transition, working it to the left side. That's William Caesar, left-handed layup. But we have to play some defense now. Here is Nicholson being guarded closely by James Quick, but he gets around him all the way to the lane. And a foul, another one. William Caesar gets called once again. Back to a 20-point lead now. James Quick pass inside, and that is a dunk. But it looks like, do they call basket interference on that one? They do. They call basket interference on that dunk on Monsetti. They don't even give us that call. So now a couple possessions later, there is James Quick with a three. And now Quick gets ripped again. Emil Robeson running transition, passing it up court. Metcalf miss, free, miss layup, I should say. And here's Quick the other way. He passes it. Open man, Macklin. And he can't hit the shot. Metcalf rebound up to Pew. He's going to take it all the way. And it's a foul. Douglas Taylor goes straight up again and gets called for the foul. How is Alabama getting all of these foul calls, especially when they need it? So now it's a 16-point game here, 45-61. And what do you know with another foul? That one at least looked like a foul. And Pew goes to the line. It's 63-47 now. Here is Nicholson in the corner. Alabama, fadeaway two, and it's good. Even hitting the tough shots, 65-47. So here is quick pick and roll all the way to the basket. Missed shot, rebound to Douglas Taylor. And he misses under the basket. That was an easy one. 65-47 still. Under 10 minutes left. Quick to the basket. Passing it. Back to the right side. Douglas Taylor. Another missed shot. And it's still an 18-point game. Here is Pew with the ball. Is he working inside to the big man? And he gets fouled. Bill Watkins goes to the line. And now it's an 18-point game. William Caesar to the outside. Macklin, he finally hits a shot. And it's a 15-point game. Now we're going to start to throw some double teams around, try to get some steals. But we leave Pew wide open. It's a three. 18-point game, 53-71. to 71. Working inside Douglas Taylor. Pump fake right under the basket. And he can't get it to go. Emil Robinson with the D. And now it's 71-54. As now Pew drives the lane, and how is that a foul? That looked like all ball to me. That's a six-foot guard over a 7-1 center, and they can't come up with a block. I don't know what's going on here, but Monsetti does hit a three in transition. 16-point game now. 
Good steal. We need some steals now. Six and a half to go. Monsetti stops and shoots, and it's off the right rim and off the mark. And now still 57-73. Here's another steal this time. Nick Miles into the game, pushing up the court. He throws it to Carrier Walker, looking for a shot. Here is Monsetti, open three, and that one is off. The second missed three by Monsetti. And now here is Pugh, this time driving the lane, blocked once again. This is Solomon Teixeira, and now here's Monsetti pushing up the court. He's got an open three again. Can he hit this one? Three straight threes missed. And that one could have been a seven-point game there if they would have hit all of those threes. And now here they are the other way. This time to the basket, Robeson gets fouled. Ronnie Madoki. And now it's up to a 19-point game. Wow, how things have shifted. We could have hit those three threes. We would have been right back in it. But now here we are in desperation mode, just dra jacking up threes. Up 16 is Alabama, and driving to the lane is Bill Watkins. Now, I want to know how he got to the lane right there, handling the ball like a point guard, and he gets the foul on Watkins. 73 to 88 now, two and a half to go. Here is Tyrus Danks in the game. He hits the three. Down to a 12-point game now. Here is Watkins passing outside to a uh, man, but he pump fakes and throws it up, and it somehow bounces in. Take a look at this. Nick Miles actually blocks the shot, and it rotates towards the basket and goes in. If there was a moment in this game where this was just meant to be for Alabama, it was this one right here. How does that go in? And it's now an 11-point game here. A minute left. Offensive re defense rebound by LBSU. Pass up the court. Tyrus Danks hits the three. Eight-point game. We're at least coming back a little bit. Couple of threes from Danks. Here they are, though. Alley-oop layup and good. How does that lucky junk go in? And now 48 seconds left. Here is Nick Miles, though, trying to get the ball to Danks because it looks like he could have the hot hand. We're trying to get it to him. And we can't run a play for him to get open. We need a pick and roll for him. Let's see. Tyrus Danks gets the pick. Goes to the top of the key. And it's off. And now LBSU down by 10. 15 seconds left. Another missed shot by Danks. And that one will end this season. Alabama will move on to the national championship and wow, they came out firing. They had a 20-point, multiple 20-point leads, and they just did not look back. We got close there at the end, but a few missed shots by Monsetti, and we end up losing. I mean, just, I gotta say, this season was a success but to come out like that and just get ran in the first half and for most of the game definitely didn't leave us feeling good. Monsetti did have 21, but I feel like that's a kind of an empty 21 points because when we needed him most, he was missing those shots. We tried to get him going, and he was the one guy I could depend on. But Macklin and Quick both had 17. Quick had an all-around game, 17 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 blocks. He was very, very good. Tyrus Danks actually had four threes off the bench in that one. I didn't show a couple of them, but he actually hit four threes in the last five minutes of the game. But how about this Alabama team? I mean, they are just deep. Bill Watkins is a monster on the inside. Robeson at 16 and 7. Metcalf at 13, 5 and 4. And then how about Tim Pugh? I did not expect him to go off like that. He had 19 points in this game to lead all scorers and Alabama takes care of business. They actually had zero points off the bench in the first half, zero. So those 49 points were all between the five starters. And just looking at the difference, we had 14 fouls to their four and they had 25 free throws to our three. That was the huge difference in this game they shot over 60 percent in the first half we didn't play any defense there and they took advantage ended up winning and alabama will move on to the national championship game congrats to them 
And congrats to LBSU. It was a run. We put our best foot forward, I think. But at the end of the day, we just got beat by a superior team. And Alabama will move on to play Maryland in the national championship. And they end up winning it by five versus the player of the year and Keith Ears in this Maryland Terrapins team. And Ears scored 34 in the national championship, but it wasn't enough. Alabama takes home the national championship. At least we lose to the national champs. But man, did they dominate us. Bill Watkins had 26 in the championship game. He went 9 of 13. And then Robeson and Metcalf almost had 20 each. And they take home the trophy. We were that close. What a run it was, though. We took home the West Coast Conference Championship for the first time this year. But now our future is kind of up in the air because I don't know what these guys are going to do. James Quick right now is considered a top 15 pick in the upcoming NBA draft. He has had that type of tournament run. It kind of reminds me of that Villanova team. Remember a couple of years ago when they had Dante DiVincenzo, all those guys go off in the NCAA tournament. They ended up winning the NCAA tournament. And then they had, what, three or four first-round draft picks. That kind of reminds me of what this Long Beach team is. So many guys could leave. It could be James Quick that's definitely gone. Monsetti, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to leave because he does not want his uh, stock to really fall since he's going to be a senior. He doesn't want to be, you know, an old guy getting drafted. He would probably fall in the NBA draft. And then what is Douglas Taylor going to do? I wonder if he will leave as well. It's just very interesting. I don't know how this offseason is going to go. So we finished 31-8. and eight. Standing ovation for this Long Beach State team. We had an amazing season, but we come up just short, losing by 10 to Alabama. So the offseason will be coming next. We'll find out what happens to our team in the offseason and who will return and who will be gone. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Back again like flu season, I broke records while loose leafing. I'm coming now, my roof leaving, don't give a f I don't care, uh, did the f by my lungs.